Hi guys, Spencer here with Talk Android. I am reviewing the SPB Shell 3D launcher available in the Google Play Store. I am reviewing it on the Samsung Galaxy S2 from Sprint. As you can see, it has the 3D effect to it. It has a little tower here, uh, as it started to do before I stopped it. Each panel that came with SPB has a 3D effect to it. So that would be the the clock, the the clock, any of their folders that are native to SPB. Also, the moon panel. It just shows the phases of the moon, but it shows it in nifty ways. Uh, the weather shows you all your different cities that you may have plugged into your phone. Um, also, Groupon has a little wonderful deal here thing. And this panel itself is pretty cool. Groupon is stuck on SPB. It cannot be changed. It is permanent. You can of course add the other apps to your phone, but with an SPB, Groupon is apparently king. And it does look nice, it does function well, everything always loads, and then tomorrow, whatever loads, these will move up, so whatever's new goes down to the bottom. It's always kind of nice. Um, backing out here, going home, my home screen. You can change them up, the little bar down here spins it kind of gives it another play feature so if you know where you're going you can get there fast um, if you just tap on it it brings it into the edit mode so if you click on the edit panels over here you can add more panels uh, the pictures is from SPB and it is Flickr pictures of the day I have a better calculator so I don't use their better I don't use their calculator panel and their contacts I do not use either because I will show you here when you load them up let's back out back out this is this is Samsung's these are Samsung's buddies I prefer to use them because they have the row of choices to use for whoever I like that SPB however when you click on your buddy it takes them into the contact book so you would have to click on call text whatever um, not a fan of that I like the simplistic get me back to basics just quick and easy okay also the edit panel of course you can remove whatever panel you do not like uh, it also gives you the option to add in an extra panel put whatever you want on it I prefer to have mine set up the way it is and you can move them around of course just click on them pull them out you can move them any direction you want it don't matter um, the other thing that's really nice is you can see how they are highlighted blue you can change the color up however you want change it to black um, change it to here we'll change it to purple so you can see how it changed it up. Um, also, if it's not the home panel, you can rename it or set it as home. Um, another really nice feature is some of SPB's widgets. I'll show you birthdays. Birthday widget is kind of nice. All my friends, with their birthdays going on. It's quite nice. I like that. Very nice. Uh, what other widgets do they got that I can show you here? Oh, I do like having the battery widget. It shows me how much battery I have left. I do love seeing that, as well as my backlight option. I can click it, change it to brighter, darker, or dimmer. However, um, the other thing is down on the bottom row here, you've got your traditional dock bar. You can change your icons however you want to change them up. I kind of like the setup, phone, message, internet. Can't get any simpler than that. Your 
Hitman apps tray it does not scroll left to right like usual but it scrolls from top to bottom it's quite nice I like that took a minute to get used to I'm used to the left to right but um, the other thing they've added is within the settings button here you got your traditional settings you got wallpaper you've got the manage panels button which is basically which is basically this button right here it's just a shortcut just a shortcut over here but my ma my most favorite button of all any any launcher that gets this button in there the manage apps button I mean I, I'm your sucker uh, I'll download you every time if if it's in there every time um, another another feature is their settings panel it is SPBs you can change the panels edit what's in there get it going the other thing that they've got going on is you can change the interface mode from smartphone to tablet and it gives you more room on your screens if you're somebody that wants more room on your screens let me let it load here and let you see what it looks like it does look nice but I'm getting older so these apps are very small really hard to see the other thing you can do whether you're in tablet mode or the phone mode is their folders when you're in edit mode they get a green arrow on them you can stretch them across the screen in the phone mode of course it would go all the way across but tablet mode is just gonna go there make that big box or you can click it again and it'll make it a small one but in tablet mode as you can see even some of their their native panels have changed let me show you the clock that one's probably the most noticeable as you can see it's bigger it's got more room to use on the screen so therefore it would look different I do have SPB running on my uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 it looks very smooth very nice the only difference down here on this one is when you put it on tablet on the phone is it changes it from the changes the icons at the bottom in the dock you only get phone and you only get your tray so let me flip this back for you guys here let you see what it was what it was and what it is go back to smartphone tell it okay other than that guys that loading time you see right there that's the only time that SPB runs slow that's it it is a well polished launcher um, I mean for fourteen something dollars almost fifteen dollars I would expect a very polished launcher and that's that's what they've delivered on here I've had I've had it almost over a week now a little over a week now and I haven't once turned it off so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, that's the review keep reading and love to hear more from you